Hey guys, this is Sandeep from Revitalist and welcome back to yet another video and today we have with us the OnePlus Nord uh, and the phone is already out here. I've already done the unboxing but I thought of doing a first impressions video before we get our final review and camera review and all of those things ready because it's been a while and uh, it's, a, it's a bit late as well but it's finally here. So I wanted to give you a brief look at what you can expect from this particular smartphone and what I think of it with the brief impressions that I've had so far. Now before we get this started please do make sure to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications for more videos like this. Now let's begin the video. So I'll start by talking about the box itself. I found it quite a bit different, quite a bit interesting. Uh, that's why I actually left it here on the table as well for you guys to see. Um, this has, uh, funnily enough, quite um, a contrast to regular OnePlus boxes. Regular OnePlus boxes now come in this elongated sort of fashion, which is uh, in this bold red color. Uh, this is a bit more subtle, yet different because it has the Nord branding here. And on the side, you also have the OnePlus Nord. Uh, and this typeface is actually the older type one. And you have the new OnePlus branding here, which is all caps. Uh, I'm a fan of the old one, to be honest, but um, nonetheless, I think it's something that we will get used to. Now, we have the 8 plus 256 GB variant, and uh, currently I'm using this case on it, which is actually the default case, and uh, it's quite uh, different. <laughs> it has the Nord sort of logo on it, uh, and uh, you know, the sides are actually frosted while there are slight clear cutouts with a dotted pattern as well, and it overall gives a very good grip to the phone itself. Now, Coming to the design, I uh, personally am feeling a bit mixed with this design because it looks good. There's no denying the fact that this looks good, albeit uh, in my uh, second favorite color. I mean, there are two colors only, but I personally prefer the blue over the gray, but this is also pretty nice and pretty uh, subtle compared to the blue color option. Uh, but in terms of the uh, design itself, I find it reminding me a bit too much about Realme, uh, to be honest. I mean, it's not aesthetically bad, nor is it, uh, you know, not good looking but uh, it's actually you know reminding me a bit too much of realme because of the way that the camera uh, hump is set up now that is perfectly fine if you haven't used a lot of realme phones uh, in the past for example but just because i have been reviewing a lot of phones and especially realme phones of late uh, and realme themselves have gotten a lot of flack regarding this it, i find it a bit weird that oneplus has adapted uh, or used a similar type of design but of course oneplus is also one of the companies under the BBK group and it only really makes sense to use it, uh, you know, um, use it to their benefit, which is another reason why you have this phone at this particular cost price. Now, speaking of pricing, uh, there are three different variants available. The first is a 6 plus 64, the other is 8 plus 128 and finally 12 plus 256, which we have here. And the first uh, sale, which is happening uh, on the 6th of August, uh, will have only the 12 and 8 GB RAM variants while the 6 GB variant will come later next month and in terms of pricing it starts at 24 triple nine then there's a 27 triple nine and 29 triple nine for the highest end variant a lot of people have asked me whether this is actually better than the one plus 70 at that particular price point of 30,000 rupees and to be honest it's still quite early for me to answer that um, as to whether this is better or the 70 is better or which one you should go for but in my short time so far, I am actually quite impressed by this. This is an interesting device and one that I think a lot of, uh, you know, OnePlus users, uh, especially the early adopters with the OnePlus One, OnePlus Two, they will appreciate this sort of a phone because uh, it seems to nail a lot of things at this particular price point, including the, um, the screen, um, including the overall UI and these kind of things, which uh, to be honest, the OnePlus uh, original devices, OG devices, uh, actually did nail as well. So, uh, what you get still now is a 90 hertz panel. So, the panel is actually a pretty good panel. Uh, of course, questions such as the display tint issue uh, might arise when I'm doing the review and stuff. So, I'll cover that in detail then. But as of now, I'm still liking the overall device. Um, it has good contrast, good viewing angles, it has good brightness. Uh, and it seems quite sharp as well and the 90 hertz refresh rate is icing on the cake when you use it along with uh, you know oxygen ui as well uh, now of course this again comes with android 10 out of the box with uh, oxygen os on top and um, this um, is 
powered by a Snapdragon 765 uh, chipset which is actually a fairly capable chipset and of course is better than several uh, 800 series chipsets you know from way back then uh, but the question to ask here is um, why did it take OnePlus so long to come up with the device in this particular segment which uh, was the segment that made it popular in the first place so two reasons for that uh, one uh, they mentioned that you know uh, uh, obviously as a brand they they had the philosophy of never settle so they tried to keep making things better and better and better and as a result it ended up pushing the overall price segment that they had and the other thing being that you know they, they didn't want to compromise on uh, the performance at any point of time so starting with the one plus one which was great performer at that price point what happened was the cost of components and other things started getting uh, more expensive they started adding more things in order to avoid that compromise and as a result it ended up being more expensive and from the point of being a flagship killer to a flagship itself now this is a device that is sort of um, giving something back to the community i would say like because it's honoring the fact that there were several people who still look for a smartphone in this particular price range but with oneplus's offerings now with that said uh, that's great that they're finally able to offer that level of fluidity and that level of performance at least uh, for the most part i'm sure that if you do very heavy intensive tasks then you will notice the difference between a oneplus 8 pro uh, or an 8 and you know this uh, oneplus nord but for the most part for most regular daily activities activities or whatever I've used so far as well it seems just about right and if someone was uh, you know asking me the question without uh, me actually knowing what's inside this I would still say that this is very much a flagship itself because it's that smooth and that well refined uh, however with that said I also feel that they could probably even have explored other options for example now you have the realme x3 with the snapdragon 855 series chipset coming in below 30,000 rupees so uh, even last year they could have probably done this with an older chipset like the poco f1 is still a very great device uh, uh, despite having a Snapdragon 845. So last year when they had the 855 series of devices in the 7 uh, series, they could still come up with a Nord with the 845 for example. So that is something that they would uh, they would and could have explored perhaps. Um, but I feel that, um, you know, uh, better late than never and finally we have it. We have the OnePlus Alert Slider, three stage alert slider on the side which actually functions very well and is one of the, um, you know, uh, good things about oneplus apart from the ui that i feel doesn't get enough credit uh, the camera setup is a, a good uh, uh, one and a bad one at the same time i mean i find the uh, you know 5 megapixel macro i mean 5 megapixel depth sensor and the 2 megapixel macro sensor to be a bit of a misfit i would have rather preferred uh, to have a 5 megapixel macro sensor if they were bundling a macro sensor at all or uh, you know just remove that sensor completely because so far the 2 megapixel macro sensor implementations have not been all that great uh, as for the primary camera and the ultra wide angle camera uh, the processing seems quite a bit different from what I remember from oneplus devices uh, I'm, I'm kind of liking it at a glance uh, to be honest but again I need to go in depth in detail and you know pixel peep to find out just how the processing has evolved whether it's become actually better or is the same or worse uh, before actually coming to a verdict but I'll post some samples for you guys to see and this is after applying an update that I received right out of the box with this particular smartphone. Now this comes with the 4115 mAh battery and it still has that uh, warp charging uh, 30 watt uh, warp charge 30t so 30 watt and they say that you get from 0 to 70 percent in just 30 minutes which is uh, very impressive and more than anyone would really need to be honest like that's good enough of course we're having faster charging coming up but practically speaking that solves most of your issues uh, considering that this has a 6.44 inch amulet panel I think that should be able to give you uh, just about a day of use uh, for heavy users maybe considering that uh, you know this has a 90 hertz display but if you put it on 60 hertz mode it should last you the entire day. Nonetheless I'll let you know about that as well. At the front you have a dual camera setup which is housed in this camera cutout sort of thing and they're sort of hiding it with the 
wallpaper itself uh, that's fine i mean you can choose to hero it or hide it uh, you can find lots of wallpapers that do both i guess and this comes with the 32 megapixel primary selfie shooter and an 8 megapixel ultra wide shooter as well now considering that this has a super amoled panel you also get an in display fingerprint scanner that's housed at the bottom beneath the display and it also comes with a dual sim slot uh, dual nano sims and there's no scope for memory expansion now uh, that brings me back to the 64 gb variant uh, which many people are saying that it's not enough and to be honest um, if if a brand like apple is able to sell so many units of the 64 gb iphone 11 pro 11 pro max etc i'm sure that there will be people who find this also acceptable at such an attractive price point uh, however with that said i would still urge oneplus and other brands to try and keep 128 gb especially for these higher end phones uh, as the base uh, this thing but at least you know um, if for some people, uh, I'll give you an example, my dad for example, if I was to buy this phone for him, uh, I would choose to go for the 6 plus 64 because storage is not that much of a concern for him. But at the same time, he's still getting the fast performance, he's still getting uh, the latest updates and he's getting a lot of the other things that makes OnePlus uh, special. And that is why I say that there are people who would rather have that phone at that price point of rupees 2499 than pay even 1000 rupees extra and have a 128 GB base storage and 6 gb ram at 2599 so uh, that was my first impressions so far it seems like a good device um, and uh, the body also build quality seems fine of course the plastic um, you know frame is something that i wish wasn't there but again if it was to decide between having a plastic frame and maybe um, i don't know losing fast charging uh, for example then i would choose fast charging uh, as opposed to a metal frame uh, but that's me personally i'm sure that everyone will have their own preference uh, and it, it oneplus or any brand basically tries to uh, appeal to as large a target audience as possible and uh, that's what they've done here as well uh, so i will let you know my in-depth thoughts on the camera as well as the device overall and if you have any specific things that you wish me uh, wish to have me cover do let me know in the comment section below thanks for watching this video see you again in the next one